Good morning, everybody. So, <clears throat> today, uh, since I got a lot of requests on how do I transition to be a vegan, how do I do this, how do I do that, um, I'm going to show you what I typically eat um, during the day. Good luck. You know, you kind of big for vegan. You kind of, you know, you dick or whatever. Because I eat food and I don't starve myself. And vegans are strong. And guess what? Elephants are thick too, like me. So, eat what elephants eat. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I do this. Alright, so this, so this smoothie right here is an avocado, banana, pumpkin seed, water, coconut milk, and kale smooth. Sometimes you can do water, like filtered water, cold filtered water, frozen ripe banana, and uh, romaine lettuce, or green leaf lettuce, or uh, spinach, or kale. Um, kale has a stronger flavor. Spinach is milder, so it's kind of butterier to me. Um, and the green leaf tastes a little bit uh, kind of greener, of course, it's called green leaf breakfast. Um, I'm, I'll probably take a multivitamin as well, only because I'm trying to like uh, make my hair really, 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 really big. So uh, I usually take like five or 10 MSM and a multivitamin because I want my hair on the top. I want it to grow long, like on the top to keep the sides short. All right, so I just finished my smoothie. I have um, food I made last night, butternut squash, uh, curry, lentil with tomatoes, and some some roasted garlicky kale. And I'm gonna heat that up. I made two oh, I batches of lunch and for dinner, or whatever. And then I also have an apple, just to curb my hunger. I go to the Bronx, and I teach slam poetry in the Bronx. And so my day starts from 11.30 to 3.45. So that's my longest day I have. Um, now that my after school is done, and I typically try to bring my lunch because there's really nothing in the Bronx for me to eat. If there is, it's just like beans and rice, but they don't really have like salad and stuff like that. So I try to bring my stuff, try to be as healthy as possible, but sometimes it's hard. Um, if I don't make it to the gym, um, usually I walk long or I try to log at least four miles of walking a day. I average about two and a half, three just doing my daily activities but when I don't go to the gym I just try to make sure I walk long since I live on a local stop you know and then also New Yorkers we tend to walk more anyway so it's just a natural thing but I usually try to walk 30 minutes so I'm walking 30 minutes to Jackson Heights it's about almost two miles and then the rest of the day will be good because I already got those two miles down. So I'm probably gonna end up having a five or six mile day. And walking is the easiest form of exercise. And as I'm getting older, as you know, I've turned. And as I'm getting older, as you know, I've turned. As you know, I've turned 38. Right? I was going hardcore with my workouts where I was doing, you know, two workouts a day and going in and going in and going in because I was trying to fight my size. And I'm not gonna fight my size anymore. What I'm doing is eating whole foods three to four times a day trying to do some type of physical activity whether it's walking or dancing or something for 30 minutes a day and that's it i've been vegan for 10 years i fluctuated with my weight right and your body basically kind of levels out after a while some people lose a lot of weight once they become vegan i did not i was already eating healthy so i didn't like get frail or little or anything like that because i was already losing weight from when i was 40, 30, 40 pounds overweight in college. I don't even use a scale no more because it's pointless to me. To you, you might have, you know, other ideas around the scale, but I don't, I don't really, I've been dealing with my size my whole life. I go by how my clothes fit. If my clothes are fitting snug, I add some more cardio. I don't have to be at work until like 11.30 something, 11.36. I'm gonna walk from 174th to Elder Avenue, well, Boynton technically, because that's where I teach. And so I'm gonna walk another 15, 20 minutes. So that'll kind of complete my uh, workout. I didn't walk all the way to Jackson Heights. I walked to Elmhurst, which was 20 minutes. So I'm adding another 20 minutes to my walking. You, all right. 
made it to the school in 16 minutes. Not too bad. Did all right, so I think I'm gonna get myself together and then maybe just eat this apple. I got a Granny Smith apple in my bag just to carb up after a cardio. I guess I walked two miles all together. We'll see what my uh, pedometer says, but I think it's two miles. And it's not even 11.30 yet. And now my students are acting a hot mess because I don't want to take a picture, but we need to take we need to take a picture because it's part of our anthology, our book. So we gotta do it. And this one's annoying every day. Murder! I'm eating the apple because uh, I have to replenish myself. So right now I am going and getting some really, trying to be as healthy as I can food for my girls because we're working on our performance for next week. Um, two weeks actually y'all. So here is the lunch for today. I eaten half of it. So there's butternut squash, lentils, tomatoes. It's nice a little spice to it. And some kale with some garlic in it. It's pretty good. We got some water. All right, y'all. Guess who just followed me on my YouTube channel? Mr. Haddock. Have you met Mr. Haddock? Mr. Haddock, tell him about yourself. Hey, I'm a math teacher, and I'm pretty much amazing at everything. He's lying. He's only amazing at uh, going home from 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 the Bronx. So I gotta pick up some soy milk. Um, I usually do almond milk, but a lot of times if I don't have time to go to the grocery store, I just pick up some some things at the local CVS. And a lot of times they have um, you know soy milk, almond milk. I usually like to try to make my own milk. I've made my own tiger nut milk. I made my own hazelnut milk, I made my own almond and cashew. So maybe I can put that on the floor. That's what they got, almond breeze. Sometimes they have soy milk oats down here. See that? I think I'm gonna go for the almond breeze today though. It's now five o'clock, I've made it home. And don't mind, I have laundry that I gotta fold. But um, I had a pretty eventful day. I got me some almond milk at the store and I'm gonna start a basil plant. So I'm gonna start that. And uh, I'm gonna wrap up the night and I'm gonna wrap up my day. I'm just gonna chill, hang out, clean my house. And that's it. So hopefully you got something out of it. Um, I can do more like uh, DIY tutorials where I'm making my own milks and cheeses and things like that. If you wanna see that, that's fine too. We can do that. Um, but I decided I wanted to do this vegan vlog or vlog because I just think a lot of people are asking me questions about how they got started. So that's how that goes. Anyway, I'm going to log off this thing. Hopefully I'll post another one tomorrow. Yeah.